How's it going? Today we're going to be playing The Sims 4 again. Calamari looks a little bit unhappy. She's very angry. Oh, fear of unfulfilled dreams. Well, that's too bad. Oh, Marley aged up. Seniority? Oh god. I mean, she's still wearing her bunny outfit, so I don't really know what she looks like. So we have a new expansion pack out. We- wait. <laughs> Calamari, why? Why did you kick over the trash can? So we have a new expansion pack out. The Lovestruck pack, I think is what it's called, which I- th think yes it does it adds a new app to the phone cupid's corner oh my god what is this i didn't realize we could actually make like a profile Wait, what is this romantically attracted to no one but she'll still woohoo with men or women okay here's what we're gonna do calamari you're gonna only date elders and her traits will be erratic and evil but this is her picture right here the back of someone's head oh yeah that's nice let's get some matches well hope we get some matches for whatever idiot is stupid enough to go out with her Oh, okay, fine. Jesus, that took a long time. Like, is it working? Oh my god, we got some, uh, some interesting people here. <laughs> Let's go with, uh, Kyoshi. Okay, ask to create a date. Oh, okay, we have to actually set up a, a, a date. Have it be a romantic date. We could invite a guest. Bring the ghost of Mare Whiskers. Come with us. Where are we gonna have it? Oh my god, we just select anywhere. How about this retail store? Okay, for our first date, we'll go and, um, go shopping. Wait, what? Where's your mask? Date actions? Yeah, ask your date how the date is going even though we just got here we haven't even talked to each other yet she's like so um do you like me or what support kyoshi's facial hair guy doesn't really have much facial hair okay wait we have date goals no we don't oh my god what is all this custom relationship label what what should this relationship be called we'll do these uh two board faces we'll call it boring old guy hits on young oh there's a word limit okay we'll call it boring old guy hits on young it sounds like a porn title or something but it's what's going on your attraction to me is neutral i'm not sure why you need to explain that but thanks i guess no problem i'm not comfortable talking about attraction with you right now dude we are on a date what do you mean oh, this guy is lame mock his facial hair kyoshi has left the date after receiving too many mean or mischievous interactions from calamari what do you mean i was just like borderline abusing you well i guess they weren't technically dating or anything so it was pretty much just assault okay well i think the date went all right let's go home now Wait, what the hell was that? Oh, she flew away on her mop. I was like, what? how did she teleport? I forgot she had a mop that she can somehow fly out of the building. I don't know. Why are you always tired, Calamari? Why can't you just be normal? Okay, go to sleep. Oh, Marley passed an audition. We didn't even have to help her. She just did it on her own. Good for you. Okay, let's go and try and find some more people. Okay, maybe let's change this to like adults and young adults. Maybe I don't want to date old people. Oh my god, what is this? There's a rabbit and a bear. Okay, save the rabbit and the bear. Oh wait, no, we can't save the rabbit. Elena's a girl. I think it's time for Calamari to have a baby because honestly, our family tree is slowly dying out. Okay, he didn't pick up. What the hell? You don't have to call him now. Why'd you even call? Just send a text or something. Just wait for the morning. There's a Cupid's counseling? Marley and Richard could have used that if, well, he wasn't dead. No, 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 no! Okay, it's like 8 a.m. Is this guy awake? Okay. <laughs> oh my god, we're going on a date with this bear. Did Mayor Whiskers even show up last time? Maybe we'll bring someone else. Bring this horse. Good neighbor McGurdy. And we'll do it, um, put at the gnome's arm. Yeah, that works. Okay, hello, Aditya Nair. Okay, let's just um start chatting. I don't understand this. Can I start like just flirting right off the bat? Or do I need them to be friends first? Because I picked a romantic date. No. Nah, but... Wait, what? Dude, you agreed to go on a date with her and then she starts flirting and he's like, uh, excuse me, that is extremely inappropriate. Like, what do you think you're here for? A job interview? Okay, just be friendly with him, I guess. He's very sensitive about flirting. Oh, he's unemployed. Yeah, I can see why. He doesn't have very good social skills oh he can play the violin oh you're so interesting can't even express my excitement that you can play the violin i can barely contain it you know i don't know how much i like you aditya oh in comes the horse so i think we have to have like matching traits to actually get along well what is his traits oh wait he's erratic and evil too well maybe we have more in common than i thought i didn't think she'd be able to find anyone who had anything in common with her she's like well in my spare time i like to um talk to myself 
myself. And you know, I like to kind of scream at the mirror in Latin. And um, every now and again, if I'm feeling good, I might go out and um, trip the neighbor's kids. Maybe push them down a hill or something. They're just like, uh, okay. But this guy's got the same traits. So he probably does the same thing. It's like, yeah, I talk to myself too. I guess I'm talking to myself, technically. I'm just sitting here alone, talking to a microphone. Maybe I too am erratic. What the hell was wrong with you? He just all of a sudden started going into a trance and- Wait, he's doing it again. Why is he yelling at her? He's like, why are you talking to me? He keeps being mean to her. I don't understand. He's on a date and he's like, I know what girls like. They like it when you're mean to them. I guess I should have known when I picked the guy in a bear costume. Yeah, discuss healthy relationships with him. She's like, you know, I don't really appreciate it when you start screaming at me for no reason. Why is she angry? Oh my god, she's angry from having an aggravating conversation. Oh, she has a new skill in romance. There's a romance skill? Oh my god, what just happened to you? Okay, so there's a romance skill. What happens when your romance goes all the way up? What can I do with that? Do I have the ability to, like, seduce people? Why is he embarrassed? He's like, what am I wearing? Why did I wear this to the date? I just realized that I'm technically on a date with a furry. I didn't, I didn't really think about that. He likes to be a bear. You just go up to random people on the street and ask their romantic preferences? How rude. Dude, we are on a date. That's the whole point. Wait, we just learned that he dislikes the violin. I thought he plays the violin. It's like, yeah, I play it, but I absolutely despise it. Oh, wait, our date is over. What? Wait, no, give me a second chance. Come back. I thought we were really hitting it off, even though you're a complete asshole. Okay, he's gonna do it again. Oh, this is a bad idea. Let's invite Richard. Maybe he'll show up. Like, this is my dad. He's a ghost. Hey, let's just keep talking to this guy, I guess. You know, this dude's a complete weirdo. Oh, here's Richard talking to the chair or something. He's like, like, hello, Mr. Chair. What are you doing here? This guy likes lullabies radio music. Oh my god. We're literally dating a furry child who hates but also plays the violin. The hell is this? I heard you became friends with Aditya Nair. He's pretty cool. I don't know. He's kind of a dick so far. But, I don't know. The bear outfit's hot, I guess. At least I think. Oh, Calamari just pissed herself. Okay, it's fine. Just ignore it. Keep talking to him. Okay, she's gonna go talk with friends. No, nope, stop that. The show must go on. Keep talking to him. Just tell him to ignore the smell of piss. Ask to have a science baby? Yeah, ask him to have a science baby. Maybe he'll do it. He's like, yeah, I'd love to have a science baby. Where's she going? Oh, she's having a science baby. Calamari will make a quick trip to the hospital and use her and Aditya Nair's genetic material to have a new baby through science. Um, okay. How is this gonna turn out? Okay, turns out that we didn't need to hook up with this guy for too long. He's just like, uh, sure, we can have a science baby, I guess. What do we want to call it? Call him my experiment. Okay, she just had a baby. Wait, where's the baby? Okay, you know it doesn't matter. Wait, where's my date? I mean, she's chatting with him. Where is he? What the hell is a mouse here? Oh, he just disappeared. Oh, so did that person. Where is my date? Oh, wait, oh, there he is. Where'd you come from? I'm glad you don't think my llama jokes are getting old. I feel like you just get me. Jesus, you have low standards. Oh, they just became good friends. How nice. Can I flirt with you now? Like, we just had a child. The hell, what's wrong with him? He's like, what? What was that? Did she just say she likes me? He can't believe it. He's like, how can everyone like me? No one's ever liked me before. Well, today's your lucky day. She has no standards. He still won't let me flirt. Why are you not? Like, what is wrong with you? Like, you guys are good friends. Just take it to the next level. They're both filthy. I think they both piss themselves. Look at how high their relationship is. Why can't I flirt with him? Every time I try, he's just like, uh? What are you doing? Okay, I think the flirting's finally working. He's finally caught on. He's like, wait a minute. She's not harassing me. She actually likes me. Okay. Flirting seems to work, so I'm just gonna keep flirting over and over again. And she's reached level two of romance. Oh, she can now share a sweetheart's box with another sim. Wait, 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 come back. Let me try, let me try. Don't go away. No, he just snapped. What the hell? Oh, my love. Whatever, go home. Oh, we haven't even seen the new kid. I swear to God, if I never see that guy again, this kid's gonna have an absent father. Okay, where's the baby? My science baby. Oh my God, you are terrifying. What is wrong with your face? That's a hideous looking baby. My experiment. 
moment. Wait, how is she still tired? She just slept. Oh my god, go back to sleep, I guess. Wait, it's 3 a.m. I need you well rested so that you can go on a date with Mr. Bear Man again. What the hell? Hell, Mario, what are you doing? Why was she sitting on the bed like that? Okay, let's call over a new friend. Where do we want to go on a date? Wait, isn't there a new world? Yes, there is. Oh my god, look at this place. Let's go to the lounge. Wait, there's more places over here. What? Oh my god, this is a cool world. Okay, let's go to the nightclub. Even though I'm pretty sure it's like the morning, but it's fine. I'm sure they still hand out drinks at like 10 a.m. Oh, hello, Mario. What are you wearing? You look very nice. And our friend here still looks like a bear. Oh, this is a nice bar. Wait, she's still exhausted. Are you serious? I thought you slept all day. Oh, so useless. Where is my date? Oh, here he is. What the hell is he doing? She's sitting up here by himself? We came here together and he's like, yeah, I'm just gonna be a Stairs if you need me. Okay, I need to have a sweetheart's box. How do I get that? I don't know where to get that from. Oh, wait, I actually have date goals now. Okay, joke with my date. Okay, my next goal is to kiss. Is it gonna work? This guy doesn't seem to do well with that. Okay, they're having their first kiss. Oh my god, it looks like he's eating her. <laughs> okay, now they just awkwardly say, oh, wants me to do it again. Okay, whatever you say. Calamari and Aditya have a strong romantic relationship and will now each have independent romantic satisfaction. Satisfaction levels. What? Satisfaction levels? What do you mean? What the hell is he doing? I guess he's happy. Balking like a chicken. How do I see romantic satisfaction levels? What should we call their relationship? I think we'll have the two frowning faces. We'll call it hurry and erratic girl. He wants me to kiss passionately, but I don't have that option. I, mean, I need to make them flirtatious. Wait, what? Try for baby in venue closet? Yeah, go for it. Oh my god. God, Calamari's bust at the moves. What is he doing? Aditya is sort of falling for Calamari and wants to ask her if she would like a relationship. What? You're only now thinking this? You guys had a baby. Uh, yeah. Okay, they're gonna go try for a baby in the, um... No, she's falling asleep. God damn it. Go try for a baby. Okay, well, we finished the date. No, no. Come back. I promise I only fall asleep on the date like half of the time. Is he leaving? Where are you going? No, what? He's like, oh, well, our time's up. I'm out of here. It's like he's on a shift. He still doesn't live with her, despite having a child. Go home, I guess. Can we invite him here? Like so. This is where your child lives. The sink is broken, and our toilet is a bush. I hope you like it. Okay, here he is. Go try for a baby in the bush. Be like, what do you think about the bush? No, she keeps canceling it. She really does not want to sleep with him. Oh my god, what is this? New romance dynamic? Wholesome? Romantic partners with the wholesome romance dynamic choose to perform Perform romantic, friendly, or funny interactions with each other more often and hold a meaningful place in each other's hearts. Well, that's nice. Would you describe the dynamic between Calamari and Aditya as being wholesome? No, they're not. That's actually true. He's been kind of a dick. They won't try for baby in the bush. I don't know why. Oh, I think they're finally doing it. I'm getting a call from an unknown caller. You don't know me, but I saw you from afar and asked a mutual friend for your number. I hope you don't mind. I'm just, I'm hopelessly attracted to you. I promise I'm chill. Would you like to meet me? Ooh, yes. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. Let me get my jacket and I will come to your house right away. What? Okay. Well, they're trying for a baby in the bush, I think. Okay, Bone Hill to watch the whole thing. What the hell? Who are you? Oh, this is the guy who's attracted to her. Oh, God. Okay, well, the ghost is sitting right here, so we'll have them talk to each other. Like, hello, who are you? Why are you in my house? Wait, this guy has an education in villainy degree. What the hell? Why aren't you a villain? Oh, she's level three. She can now whisper about desires with other sims. Yeah, try that. I'm sure he'll like it or he'll hate it. And he'll be like, what are you doing? Stop doing this. Oh, stop taking care of your child and go and whisper seductively to him or something or whisper about your desires or whatever he's just standing here looking at this like what is wrong with your guys kitchen you know he's doing all this stuff with her i think she's still sick yuki bear you and aditya are just so cute together just thought i'd let you know uh thanks i guess determine your sims romantic boundaries by customizing what their romantic boundaries okay so you can have turn-ons and turn-offs now i don't know why i'm doing this for him well you can make your sim be attracted to people who are married now, this is kind of cool. Okay, your name is hard to pronounce, so I'm just gonna change it. Call you Mr. Bear. It's easier to say and also easier to remember because, well, you're a bear. Oh my god, look at Marley. She's all gray. And also, this is not the most flattering angle of you. Oh, she just fell asleep in the bush.
bush that everyone pisses in, and also the same bush that Calamari and Mr. Bear tried for a baby in. Kind of gross, but you know what? To each their own. But I think we are going to end it there. Calamari now successfully has a working relationship and a child. Just got it all done in an afternoon. It's like, yeah, I think today I'm going to have a baby and get in a relationship. That's the goal. But yeah, I'm going to go.